All right, fellow Ratcheterian Rice Rocketers. I just made that up. I don't know what the hell that means. Well, let me give you a little update of what's been going on with my Integra. Uh, where am I? I can't see the damn. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying. I'm going to try this new, this new mic uh, I got for birthday. Uh, I'm going to plug it in right now so you can hear the difference. Hopefully, you hear a difference. I don't know. I, I can't tell right now. I just... Well, I'm going to give you an update on what's been going on in my car. My Integra. Uh, a 97 Integra. Originally LS. I converted to Type R. Engine and tranny, 98 spec. Nothing fancy. But uh, I've been doing a, a headlight tuck. But I didn't really post a lot of it. I had... I had some videos going on that I never uploaded, but my uh, I bought a cheap SD card off online and ended up getting corrupted, so I kind of screwed myself. Don't you, don't cheap out. Next time I gotta. Well, beside the fact, beside the point. Um, let me show you what I got so far. So I got <clears throat> I got the the harness removed out of the engine bay same here never mind this I mean I'm, I'm still working on this I don't know exactly what to do with it yet but that's I'm debating whether to do a attempted myself the engine tuck wiring tuck uh, harness tuck or get me bite the bullet and give me like a rye wire or r-spec or whatever the hell those wire harnesses are but of course I removed the I removed the the ABS harness. I mean, look at that. It's clean. I, I, it's still active. I didn't remove it. I'm, I I I love my ABS. Now, it's all unrouted. I mean, unrouted, rerouted. I mean, of course you see I already did my headlights. I mean, these are already these are functional. Which they're routed underneath the headlight, and I still got about this uh, the fan. Now this isn't permanent. I mean this isn't a uh, damn fall winter time. This isn't um, set in stone yet. I still gotta. Right now I'm routing everything. Like uh, still don't know what I'm gonna do with these relays, and but. I have the harness to the ABS routed through this existing hole. There it is. I mean, all I did was reroute it around. I mean, I had to depin each one of these to bring it in because I didn't want to cut it. So, of course, I got my my ricer horn, which I got a video on. Now this is to the horn. No, that's not the horn. This is the horn. Which, of course, you know, I'm routing everything. Well, the headlights, I'm routing it. This one's routed underneath to this, uh, what is it, the low beam. And then the other one's routed underneath. And the other one's routed underneath. I don't know if it's too bright, but yeah. It's routed underneath there. I still got to loom it. It's not going to be just electrical tape, which is there. So, I mean, it looks somewhat clean on this side I mean it's still dirty but and on this side I mean it's clean I'm keeping AC power steering you know I mean I can make it look real clean if I remove that but I like I mean this is also a daily I haven't driven it in a while but it's you know it, it's a daily and then of course I got this little monstrosity here but uh, you know one, one, one step at a time I don't, I don't have a, that's a long, that's, again, this is the, uh, what is it, the uh, engine harness. I still don't know what the hell I'm going to do with that. But, but, uh, let me put you on a tripod. Yeah, so what I, so what I got right here is a 180 watt industrial soldering iron from, of course, Chicago Electric, Harbor Freight. Picked it up for, I think, Came around, I think it was like 20 bucks. Came with the solder, and then came with this guy, the Flux. But I did, I did you buy more, buy this off of eBay because I ran through that solder 
that it came with. It's a pound. I think I paid like. Excuse me. I think I paid like. Yeah, I paid like eight dollars. So, so I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna extend my headlight because uh, I want these. To this is the. Uh, which one is? Let me double check. This one's the high beam. This one, I mean, this is the low beam, and this is the high beam, the blue one. So, as you can see, what I want is to go underneath here with the low beam. And it's not long enough. I mean, yeah, I can go through here, but you're going to see it on the inside. So, I'm going to extend these a little. Of course, I'm going to cut it and extend it. And I'll uh, set you up here. I'll do a quick tutorial or not a tutorial but I mean I'm not a pro at this I just started okay. just started doing this basically what you're gonna do you're gonna cut it this is this right here is the the high the low, yeah the high beam so what you do is basically just cut it Strip it with some strippers. Oh, why you need focus, guy? Strip it. Strip both ends. And then find yourself some wire that's equivalent to to the same size. So I'm not going to do a whole lot of soldering on film because, I mean, it's, or not, I don't know, what, what maybe. So I got this wire here. It's it's a little smaller, but, I mean, I'm just going to go with it. It all depends how much you want to, uh, it's all test, test, and, test and tune, but. Basically, you, you, you get your, saw, your your wire, like I'm using this guy for the, for the shrink, and cut yourself little pieces. You don't need a whole lot. Remember, you still got to loom it. So, here I want to have to make four solders, so, four soldering joints. So, four of these little guys. Now before you solder, always slip this on before. Because if you don't slip it on before, you're not gonna have a you're not gonna be able to uh, heat shrink it. Now I got black and a red wire and I got right here black and a white wire. I'm saying good, good, good. So make it easier I'll put the black with the black and you you put them together and you like roll it to where it does that you just keep going to you all the way around bam see that I mean in some people you can always put butt splices you know butt splices work If you think about it, how many how many solder joints do they have on a brand new car? Damn near none. They all do this style and then they put their type of tape. <clears throat> so before you before you solder you gotta put flux because you don't need much, you need just a little bit. For some reason, when you use flux, it 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 works awesome when you solder. Oh, let me set it up. All right, so it's soldering gun I got you. It's a trigger. I mean, it's got a little nice little light. Who the hell solders in dark? In dark. So you hold it. Like get it nice and hot.
It'd be nice if I had one of those little clamps. Just dab it on. That's it. Solder. Do the other one. Now you don't want to over solder it. You just want enough to where it coats the wires. Now you slide your uh, shrink. I'm using a torch. I'm using a lighter. Or soldering iron. Basically, that's it. Now you just extend it. So in this case, I might have it running. I'm running under here. And then up underneath, and then you cut however much you need. Like this one is the high beam, so it's going to go further all the way around under here, all the way around up under here. So, I mean, it's going to take enough. So I'm going to finish up this soldering on the other one, and then uh, update you. Ended, as you saw me on the time lapse. I mean, of course, this isn't permanent right here. It's not done. Still need to throw a little tape on there. Throw a little tape on these ends right here, just just to be, you know, extra precaution. But the flux, I believe, it's on there, so keep it from oxidizing. I mean, I, I guess. 
Throw a little bit of tape, a few wraps of tape on that, and then throw a loom. I just got to get the loom. Uh, Harbor Freight's got it pretty cheap. Something like this, real thin. Small, nothing thick. And of course, I got to add my uh, side marker because I had it here. Where the hell did this thing come from? Oh, it came out of there. It broke off. Anyways, I'll fix that. <clears throat> so, let's double check my work. I got them already hooked up. Right there. Bam. And you see the bulbs? It doesn't even look, you know what I mean? Cleanliness is what I'm going for. Alright, let's... Bam. I'm, I was doing... One click is the, the running lights. Alright, yeah, we got them going. So you double check your work. I need to get my car inspected, so, I mean, that has to work. Now I'm going to turn on the high beams. Click it in once. Now the high beams are working. Awesome. So, good job. Always double check your work. I mean, if you got your ability to, don't go full sand and then hope it's right and it's not. Like if I didn't do it right there, I can correct it. So. Good job. Well, I mean, that's what I got so far. A little update. It's not going to be the whole setup. But I know if you saw, one thing I will show you is everybody knows that when they keep their, their ABS. What are y'all doing over there? Well, when y'all keep y'all's ABS, there's a panel, fuse panel that goes right here. That's a that has fuses for your ABS. Well, I, I relocated mine, so I got the main feed and a couple extras coming in through here, which I got to notch, either notch this, this grommet, or notch this. But once again, I'm not sure if I want to keep it that way. So here I, I put in a side marker for the for the. The side marker on the yeah. fender. Well, let me show you where I put my my fuse panel. Of course, my that's not set in stone. I got it right there, easily accessible. If I got a fuse that blows out, which these things never blow out, and it all still works 100%. I love. ABS save your life keep you from crashing your car and of course you know I had to take this part out so I can access the wires and then these right here these are when you uh, go to a JDM motor you don't have a, can a crank sensor anymore on those motors so you gotta you gotta do this little number So yeah. I had to go. Bye. Bye. I gotta solder this guy. That's for my VTEC. Are you driving? Uh, yes. So, I mean, yeah, that's that's what I got going on so far. Go bye bye. Yeah. I had a whole bunch of other video, but it got lost. No, I had to but, go, guys. I had to go. But yeah, I mean, anybody got any ideas or? on how to make this better and y'all done this before a little wire tuck i mean hey i'm all for it let me know in the comments because i've i mean i've only seen a few videos and not really too detailed on how to do headlight tucks and uh, engine harness uh, tuck i think i do have to pull out the dash to get 
that harness. Uh, it just it's it's one of those rabbit hole kind of deals. Keeps getting deeper. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated on when I, I do some more. But I just thought I'd let y'all know. Alright man, thanks for watching.